Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. So I did some videos on quantum physics and it got some wheels turning. How do we make sense of all this stuff? I mean, the quick answer is we don't, but that's a little unsatisfying. Hmm, let's see. I think this is gonna take more than one video, so let's start with some context. Triton 3b brings up the infamous double slit experiment, and he has some gripes with what it suggests about the behavior of particles, particularly how they seem to do different things when they're being watched. I actually had the same problems with this when I was first learning quantum physics, as I'm sure many others do. It sounds ridiculous, and most TV programs dumb it down so much that it's just, it's just wrong. Whoa, whoa, hold up, what's the double slit experiment? Oh right, I guess everyone's not familiar with this. This is a double slit. See the two openings? Okay, so basically, if you launch a bunch of balls, it's something like this. They hit the wall on the other side in a pattern like this. If you launch waves at it, the pattern on the wall looks like this. And it's called an interference pattern. Thomas Young used this kind of experiment in 1801 to show that light was a wave. Which brings us to the first problem. The size of visible light waves is on the order of tenths of micrometers. So the openings have to be small and close together for us to even notice this. Electron waves are on the order of tenths of nanometers. That's a thousand times smaller than visible light, which means the slit device has to be a thousand times smaller. It's also really hard to get electrons by themselves. Both these facts make this experiment incredibly impractical. That being said, in 2012, a physics team finally managed to actually do it. Their slits were 62 nanometers wide and were separated by 272 nanometers. Just to give you an idea how small that is, it looks more like this. Those bumps are atoms. Dude, get to the point. Okay, okay. This experiment has some weird results. First, we try sending a beam of electrons at the slits and we get this pattern at the detector. Voila! Electrons must be waves. No, 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 that's just the electrons interfering with each other, right? There are a lot of electrons in that beam, just send in one at a time. One electron at a time starts out looking pretty normal. But then after a while, we still get the interference pattern. That means a single electron interferes with itself, meaning it passes through both slits. What? No way! Put in a detector at the slit so we know which one it's going through. Okay, let's put in a bright light bulb. If even one photon from the bulb hits the electron, it'll bounce into a detector and we'll know. As you'd expect, each electron only passes through one slit at a time. Unfortunately, now the pattern looks like this, which says electrons are particles. That's just ridiculous! Ugh. Okay, so this sounds crazy. If you send a beam of electrons through slits, electrons behave like waves. If you send single electrons through slits, electrons behave like waves. But only as long as you don't know which slit they went through. If you do, then they behave like particles. But what does it all mean? For that, you'll have to wait till the next video. Spoiler alert, it has nothing to do with you or me. So what kind of things do you have floating around in your mind, Vortex? Please share in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.